Hi everybody, I'm so happy that you're joining me today. Thank you so much for spending part of your day or evening with me. If you're new here, my name is Angela, one with gray hair, and also the creator of this channel. I hope that you're able to find the silver linings of life. So in today's video, I'll be talking about a new wig that, well, at least it's new for me, and the name of the wig is Ensley, and the color is Moonstone, which is kind of a new color for me, but I like it because it looks rooted, and, and it's just very, very trendy looking, and I think believable and fun. I want to share with you, while I was away, I discovered some wonderful uh, YouTube channels for, I would say, the, the women over 60. And this is my first one that I discovered. You may be familiar with these ladies, but they were new to me, so maybe they'll be new to you. The first one is Sandra Hart. Now, Sandra uh, used to be a romp the romper room lady. And when we were little, my mother used to put us in front of the TV, all eight of us, early in the morning. And we used to watch Romper Room. So when I found Sandra, who looked a lot different from what I remembered when I was a little girl, when I found that she was on YouTube and heard the things that she shares, I subscribed and I visit her channel often. And so here she is. It's called Life Over 60. And let me open up another window for you here. And then here is Sandra as she's talking about herself, um, her journey from Romper Room to YouTube. So if you used to follow Romper Room, I think that you'd find Sandra Hart, and even if you didn't follow Romper Room, she's just, just full of wisdom and a delight, a delight to listen to, and I find myself visiting her channel over and over. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 6. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme. Therefore, get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. And then the next lady that I love to follow, again, you may have heard her, or that maybe not. I hadn't heard of her until very recently. Her name is, or her channel name is, Little Poet. And again, she reaches out to users or um, people who are searching YouTube for information over 60. And she does all these trips to thrift stores and uh, she talks about photography and, and uh, she'll talk about skincare, makeup. But the main thing that I, that I take from her is the wisdom and the stories that she shares visiting thrift stores and so a lot of us when we look at those things from the thrift stores they bring back a ton of memories and just the way she presents her content is is beautiful she adds beautiful music her photography is beautiful and a lot of the things now that she's found in the thrift stores she's selling on her channel on Etsy or Etsy however you say it None of my comments are sponsored. These ladies don't even know that I'm men mentioning them. They're just people that I love to follow and I thought maybe you might like to follow as well. And there's one more. And then the last one you can see there, that's Rockstar Mo Mom, R-X-S-T-R Mom. I'll, I'll drop all the links for these channels below. And she is a hoot. And she's just a wonderful, classy Southern belle. And she is, she's very funny. She does a lot of hauls, you know, clothing hauls. She's got beautiful skin, talks about her skin, how she how she's kept herself so lovely all these years. And, and uh, Patty from Rockstar Mom is 10 years older than I am. And so I really love to follow these ladies who are, 10, 15, 20 years older than I am because I have a dear friend who's about 15 years older than me and she's always preparing me for the next thing, <laughs> the next five or 10 decades or the next five or 10 years in life. So collectively, all these women share a lot of wisdom. Their content is beautifully done and I just love them. So I wanted to share that with you today. So here we go with the review of Ensley. She's going to come to you in a box that looks like this. 
I have no idea when I put her on my head if she's going to look like that. But let's get going. I think that box is actually very beautiful. And I have not opened her up yet, so this is an unboxing right along with you. And tissue paper. And then, of course, there's the tag. So she's quite long. I have my specs here. Let's see if I can see how... Yeah, the, the crown down is 13 inches. Beautiful. And the, from the nape, the nape down is the longest part of the wig, and that is 14 inches. The fringe, or the bang, or the side curtain bang, whatever you want to call it, that is 6 inches. That's actually an ideal length to frame the face and she is wavy it says curly but it's really I would say it's wavy it's more wavy than curly and she's going to fit an average size head well we'll see about that because <laughs> I'm average to large but it doesn't in, in all fairness to Renee of Paris it doesn't say average to large it says average and she has a lace front so the lace front is a little scratchy, but I find over time that that scratchiness goes away. It really does. But but you do want it to be able to hold the hair in, it, in its place, so you want to have a certain amount of heft there. And let's see, and the lace front is not ear to ear. It does have the covered ear tabs with the metal stays. It has the Velcro type of just a uh, type adjusters, which are really my favorite. And she has the open wefted top. Let's see what kind of stretch it has. A little bit of stretch. And then we have in the front the partial the partial monofilament top. So all in here, this part is going to look right it's going to look like it's your scalp and you can part it anywhere in here it's going to part on the left side and let's see is there any permatees I don't really think there's any permatees if if there is it's a minimal minimal amount I think that's just hair all right so she looks like she's going to be a, a right out of the box style not much to do with her so let me get ready to put her on my head and I'll be right back well, here is the beautiful Ensley on my head. You can see that she has the dark rooting here, which makes for a very, very believable scalp. She has that beautiful monofilament left side part. So if you were very close to me, you would see that it just looks like you're looking right into a person's scalp. Look at that. Beautifully done. Beautifully, beautifully done. The lace front. Now, you saw my hair is snow white under there. So, when I actually wear this wig, I would use, as I say every time, I would use my It Stays. Drop a link below. This helps secure any wig to my to my head. It just makes me feel so, so secure. And when I'm done with the wig at the end of the day, I just wipe it off with a warm washcloth. And it comes right off and it does not hurt the wig. But especially a wig like this. Some of you might not need it, but I don't like to wear wig grips. So this is my preference to keep my wig on. And, and I, I love this stuff. And one word about it stays. Don't, don't store it on its side and don't store it like this. You can turn it upside down just while you're using it so it's easier to get out and get started. But when you're done using it, put it like this. It's already leaked out on me a few times because sometimes I didn't screw it on properly or so just store it like this. Not like this. Just like roll on deodorant. Okay. So um, 
just initial impressions, she wants to fall. She wants to fall into your head. In, she wants to fall into your eyes, I should say. So I'm sure that I would have to train Ensley so that she doesn't keep falling in my face or maybe hit her with some kind of a styling spray. I'm not at this point sure, 100% sure I'm going to keep her because I have two wigs that are very similar. I have Shakerado and I'll insert um, a, uh, a short video that I did on Shakerado so you could see what I'm talking about. And then I did a review on another wig. Again, I'll insert that for you when I'm editing. Um, but this wig here by um, Aesthetica in the color Lilac Haze, another gorgeous wig. Now, you probably can't see it in the monitor, but um, she does, when you're out in the sun, you can absolutely see some lilac in her, which I don't mind. Both of these wigs, whether it's this one that I have on my head um, or... Aesthetica's, um, I think it's called Orchid in the color Lilac Hay. Sorry, I didn't comb her out. I just grabbed her. Um, and then Shakerado. Those are three wigs that I would use for a very special occasion, like uh, an anniversary. We're heading to a wedding down in the Carolinas soon. I might wear this wig. I might wear this wig. I might wear Shakerado. I don't know. Um, but Ensley was available. I can't remember if I purchased her on clearance. Um, and I really wanted to try the Moonstruck in a longer wig. And so here she is. Let me do a spin for you. I haven't seen the back yet. And I don't even have a mirror down here. So I have no idea what she's going to look like. Hope you could see the end of it. And then there's the right side. She does come pretty far down, about right above the, the bra strap. Yep, just above. And then again, the left side. I think it's a very beautiful wig. I really do. Let me also say that Ensley has a lot of stretch to her, more stretch than I normally notice with uh, Renee of Paris. It feels very comfortable on my head. I think I could wear her for hours and hours. I just would have to secure Ensley with my It Stays and a couple of bobby pins on the bottom so that they don't ride up, but very comfortable. I think it's a very, very beautiful color. I am seeing in my mirror... It's more of a gold than it is a gray. It's, I would say it's a, um, hmm, so hard to describe color. Okay, so let's take a look at the Adirans color chart. Adirans is uh, the manufacturer of Renee of Paris wigs. And I'm going to show you, again, I don't know how she's presenting. It. I don't know how she looks to you. But the wig to me in my monitor looks gold and yellow, and it's not at all. It, it, it's more, I just went outside. I'll insert a picture for you when I edit. And But here is what um, the Adirons color chart looks like. And here's Moonstone. And Moonstone, this says it's a blend of cool white, silver gray, and creamy white gray tones. As soon as we hear creamy, creamy a lot of times can mean that they may have included, where's my 101 Platinum? They may have included this color right here, somewhere in the wig. And it sure does look like they did that, right? So it looks like they included... Platinum, I'm not saying that they did, but to my eye, it looks like they did. And perhaps, I don't see a lot of white, so perhaps some 59. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. There's 59, and even 59 on my camera in my monitor looks gold. I don't know how it looks to you, but to my eye, she's got no yellow or gold in her at all. 59 has no yellow or gold in it at all. 
and they may have included some they may have included some white I don't know we don't get to know what all these color codes are and then they may have included some 56 so there's the four colors that I think make up this wig and then also where does that dark come from with the addition of natural dark brown roots for those that want a fashion forward color dark brown well I'll just pick this up looks to me like a blend so this is why color is so important I mean you can't just say oh, alright it's silver stone or it's moonstone or it's icy shadow or you know whatever the whatever the color is it's it's wonderful to know what those colors make up those numbers that make up the color code but we don't always get to know that and that's why we try to do these wig reviews as best as possible so let me know in the comments I would love to know what you see do you see yellow do you see gray do you see white um, if not don't let that put you off because I promise you this is not a yellow or gold wig now when I was out in, outside I even saw some lavender light light lavender up here again don't let that put you off now listen I know that a lot of my viewers are not into long wigs but I do know that some of you are because of the comments that you leave me and I think this is a really really well done wig now the big difference another big difference that I can see is there's a lot of density up here so you know near the part there seems to be more hair up here on my Aesthetica Orchid by Aesthetica wig there isn't as much hair up here so Aesthetica is and and of course Aesthetica is a lace front so you could see with that mono yeah with that mono top with that partial mono top so you could see right through to the scalp on Shakerado and I'm going to put these side by side when I edit on Shakerado I think that is probably the most believable long wig of all of my long wigs but either any one of these three would do so if you can't find one go for go for another one and I'll try to drop some links uh, some some purchase links I'm an affiliate with um, Vogue wigs full disclosure and you may be able to find at least one of these three at their website so of course you could you could take Ensley and you could pick her up and put it on your head I've got a big barrette here uh, you could take um, a claw barrette like this and just pull her back away from your face. That's what you want to do. Usually when I go long, I tend to leave it long. Probably not great because it's really hard to do it on camera, but just, just so that you get an idea. And of course, you could just take the whole thing, it's already starting to ride back on me, and I have a beautiful clip, and I just stick it right through the wefts. And of course we would take some more time with that, bring this part up, you know, so that it's done perfectly. But for just a quick updo, you could do that. So ladies, even if you're not into long wigs, don't discount the fact that you can take a lot of these and pick them right up on your head. And, and then you've got the short look in the front, but still the elegance of long hair, if that's what you want. And I, I love this wig. I really do and it fits me so it fi it will fit an average to large I dropped my circumference um, my head circumference information for you down below okay so now um, I think I've talked pretty much about everything she's a layered style wavy 
I wouldn't say curly. I would say wavy because curls to me are kind of, you know, really tight little curls. And my only complaint is right here, but I can fix that. I can fix that with some hairspray. And I did, the reason you're seeing all these little teeny tiny hairs right there is because I gave her a new part. <laughs> I gave it a new part. So again, I might hit those with some hairspray, but maybe not because I think that that tends to make the, the wig look very believable. Okay. Just a quick reminder everyone that I do have gently used wigs for sale over on my site. I'll link it below. Right now I've got one, two, six, eight wigs for sale and I hope that if you go there you'll find something that you love and there's full directions on what to do. I use PayPal and I ship to the United States of America. First come, first serve. All sales are final. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 6 Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme, therefore get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Thank you for visiting with me today. I hope you draw from wisdom and look for the silver linings this coming week in your own life. And if you do, maybe you'll share them with us in the comments section below. See you next time on Silver Linings. Bye-bye.